Hello and welcome to the Württemberg. Württemberg? Württemberg. Let's play on Total War Empire, the Definite Edition. And because it is the Definite Edition, I plan to do this faction, which was recommended to me by a fan. He wanted to see how his faction would fare in the grand scheme of things. Um, because the game is the Definite Edition, aka there was another patch, I can no longer do this game in Darth Maul, and I don't know if there's been an update. If there has been, do please tell me on the comment section below. Also, if you want to see your faction represented in the game, there are quite a lot of them, actually. Do please suggest to me, because I would like to do them, like in a mini-series kind of thing. Major series? I don't know, maybe some other factions i don't know but you can recommend them to me in any other game i but currently i can only play medieval empire napoleon and shogun do so what are we going to do as i stated this will be a mini series because i only need to take what is that 30 provinces that's not too bad also i'm not in the prestige ranking so it doesn't really bother me what are we going to do well in case you haven't realized i have a whole bunch of money why because well Württemberg is kind of is in a big predicament for starters we have france which will always declare war on us austria is allied to us but they will drag us into wars against prussia and spain and poland and the ottomans and sometimes even Russia. Also Sweden will... Every time that I play them... For, for testing it to see what I could do with the factions. I actually lost as this faction. Hence why I have all this money. Just so I have a fighting chance. Um, Sweden took all of this. They even went to Hanover. And I totally expect them to go to Hanover as well. Also, I dragged my ally, which is Westphalia, into war with me against France and I peaced out, but they didn't peace out, so France took Cologne, which was not good in the slightest. So, what will be our objectives? I want to form Germany, well, as much of Germany as I can, which will be the provinces of Stuttgart, Munich, Dresden, Berlin, Hanover and Cologne. Prague is not part, nor is Silesia. Yeah, that. And those will be our starting points. After that, well, we could either go to the Americas, which I really don't fancy too much. Let me just adjust my mic's position a little bit. There we go. Which I really don't fancy all that much. Or... We could go to India. I mean... We could go to India. So that's probably what we'll do. We'll form Germany. Absolutely, we'll have to be a war with the... With uh, Prussia. Hopefully not with Austria. I, I really don't want to go to war with Austria. And also, because I really want this to be a miniseries... Well, it can drag on for a little bit, but I don't want it to be that long. I want to have all the technology researched in the fastest amount of time possible. So, we... I'll see you guys in a couple of turns, because we will take a Munich. I will... I'll try to do a blitz because they normally don't recruit that many people at the beginning. So I can just recruit a couple of militias and line infantry and just upgrade everything. And then just go, take it, and that will be that. I'll probably not show it on screen because it really doesn't matter much. I just need this. I need to take that quickly because otherwise I'm not able to even do proper technologies. So... So yeah, um, I'm going to take that, I'm going to research a couple of turns ahead, and then whenever I'm ready to go at war with Prussia, I'll start recording again. So see you guys in a couple of seconds. We are now in the year of 1712. As you can see, a couple of time has passed, but there's been a major change, other than the fact that we are at war with Prussia. And as I stated in the beginning, yeah, Sweden did take 
Christiania, is it Christiania? Christiania, they took Copenhagen, they took Hanover. We, we didn't drag Cologne into war with us. We, are, we have been at war with, with France and we've been at war with Austria. Everyone actually hates us because we are now a republic. Oh my. And we are well uh, we are at war with Prussia. Only Prussia and the pirates. So that should be good. Obviously, Venice, Genoa. Who else? Venice, Genoa, any other republic? Ah, and the United Provinces love me because I am a republic. So we are at war with Prussia. Let me show the army composition that I've gotten. It's kind of weird, but we have a six Republican Guard Infantry, because we are now a Republic. Six Line Infantry, that is the best units that we can actually get. We have a 24-pounder foot artillery, a 24-pounder howitzer, a six, a four-inch mortar, one cuirassiers, and yeah, I've been asked this before. Why do I only have between one and three units of cavalry? I am quite terrible with with cavalry management on the battlefield. So I'd rather have more infantry, which I am good at commanding, rather than cavalry. Cavalry is just for protection of the infantry. Also, there are three units of Jaegers, and then we have our best general over on the field. Over here, it is the exact same army composition, but one th weird thing also, the conscripts are available to us because we are a republic. One weird thing is we get, we can have Grenzers, but I believe I can only recruit them if I actually have Vienna. It's quite alright, but yeah uh, <laughs> all right then so we are at war with Prussia they have somewhat of an army here I don't want to take Prague they can have Prague all they want it's not part of my objective so I will not take it they have an army here what about in Berlin okay so they had the Deadhead Hussars. Once I am done with them, I'll leave them these three. I'm only interested in taking Dresden and Berlin. So, that is exactly what we'll do. Let us go on and let us attack Dresden. Should be fun. They, they still have pikemen over here. Four units of line infantry, two units of cavalry and a 12-pounder. They are drastically behind us in terms of technology if we look at the uh, at them oh they're actually not that far behind apparently do they also have cheats let me check for example the United Provinces technology now they still do not have pl ah, so I can only give them the the closest ones that they have because Prussia starts with plug bayonets. Technology they are going to military syllabus and carbines. So military syllabus and carbines. So they don't have that one and they don't have that one. They apparently have they might have both of these or. Uh, no, they might have these three, and they're going for a great arsenal, which I doubt. I mean, it's not far-fetched. Or they only have cannons to shot, and they're going for the Ordnance Factory. No, no, they definitely have these, these three. They're going for the great arsenal now. So that means no howitzers for the Prussian army. Oh my, that is... Oh, but it's not commanding that... Much. Also, because it is a little bit weird, um, the, the expatriates, they have a weird name. Also, if you look at Württemberg in the name, it is really wobbly wobbly. I don't know what that is, but I, that is Württemberg. And I think, yeah, uh, Gal is it Galicia? 
I think it's Galish. I don't remember the proper name. Also, Konigsberg is weird. Yeah, every time they have the two dots on top of the on top of a letter, I don't know what to call those because that's not available in my language or any other language that I currently know. Yeah, it weirds it out. Pandors, Garen Hussars. Okay. We should be fine with the army we currently have. It's able to defend anything they can, that they can throw at us. And while we're at it, we're also making yet another army. Let us go to war with Prussia. Let us not delay any further. Hello and welcome to the countryside outside of Dresden. We have been attacked by a smallish army. I thought they would bring the army from Berlin to actually attack us, but... They didn't, so we have set up on this majestic hill. We are the defenders, so they have to come to us. We have a huge amount of artillery. We have our general back here. He looks dandy as ever. Look at that. We have our cuirassiers over here. They look quite nice, actually. Oh, so that one only has a front-facing plate. We have our guards, our Republican guards. Oh my, they look quite astonishing. We have our Republican guards right here. Let me just adjust my microphone again. It's okay. And w this is my particular mod that I have, that I have massive banners for all the regiments. Looks amazing. We have all the technologies available to us. And my God, are they ready to attack? We also have our line infantry and our Jaegers right in front of them in skirmish mode. Let us see what they bring against us. All right. Ooh, a little bit laggy. Okay, so. Because they are still bringing up some troops, they, they're going to take a little bit to actually arrive in place. Okay, they have the second type of bayonets. They, it's not the plug bayonets, but it is the bayonets that are worse in every way, shape, and form. And will my mortars fire, or are they just reloading? They are still just reloading. Well, I wouldn't call that a reload. It's more of a scraping the barrel. Not scraping, scrubbing the barrel. Well, all right then. All right, whenever you're ready. We're all waiting for you. Just waiting. Come on. You can do it. It's not that big. It's a four inch freaking mortar. You just need to to clean it with water. Put the powder. Put the put the freaking bullet in. Not the bullet, the, the thingy that the projectile in. And then ting ting ting. And there you go. You finally managed to do it. And where are my... Oh, there are my projectiles. In they come. You bloody missed. Ah, there we go. That one seemed to be a little bit better, but... Still no casualties on the Prussian side, because they... Oh. Five died. Where? Well, all right. Uh, five of them are dead. Let me just put my guards around like so. And then both of these can turn around like so and these Jaegers can get in front of them like so all right then yes this will be a bit boring because we are on the defensive but you know we can still get some good amount of kills I'm just waiting for this unit of line infantry to just reach us. Once they do, I'll just fire a salvo against them. Oh, so I should just... I'm going to keep it like so. 
going to do that. Oh, I do. I really didn't remember how slow the battles in Empire Total War were. They have a regiment of horse. What about a armed citizenry? Okay, so that's the town army. There's the line infantry and the massive Prussian flag. Oh, they're firing against us. All right, then. But we are also firing against them. So it all should turn out nicely. I do say that. They... Oh, my. Ooh, it does lag my computer to hell, but... Does a whole bunch of damage. Oh, my. Incredible. As long as they don't hit my own men, that should be fine. Where are my mortars aiming at? I aim at that. I didn't... It's quite weird. They, they were just hitting stuff around... Yeah, the mortars... I'm thinking it they're not that good. <laughs> I mean, it's just been dreadful so far. Howitzers, however, marvelous. They've just been great. And hello there, Gendarmiere. Come on, do approach me. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't think so. I really don't think so. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm truly, truly sorry. Yeah, okay then. Goodbye. Yeah, I also wouldn't think so. I mean, a full regiment down to two. With the one charge. Oh, in comes another. And in typical Empire Total War AI, they're sending their general forward as well. I don't I don't think it will be good for them. Alright, stop and find new targets, I guess. Right, that one turned back and ran. Okay, before you actually shoot, you need to get some line of fire because okay, over here you might get something and we have fire by rank they do not so we should win every engagement no problem whatsoever there's the first volley there's the second and there's the third yeah that's a power fire by rank, I guess. Okay, that one is not shooting anywhere. And yeah, they're sending their general's bodyguard to his plain death. Okay, don't don't actually let them attack my Jaegers, that would have been bad. Okay, you move Oh I should have put the stakes up. Oh I completely forgot about that. Never mind. Okay, you Oh Okay. What are they planning? I am utterly and truly confused as to... Okay, there we go. Remember, this is the very hard AI. And I have no 
damn clue what they intend with anything. And come on, just just retreat. Okay, you can also place some stakes. And where are you guys going? Okay, you lot, get in there. I also lost quite a good amount of infantry here. Okay, the stakes are down. Oh, you need to, you need to get into formation. Quick, quick, quick. Now they're sending their proper infantry to fight us. Right, there are no there is no possibility for us to place the stakes, but guessing it doesn't really matter. Right, cavalry, time to actually deploy you. Okay, it's only citizenry. There is one gendarme over there. The rest of the line seems to be doing fairly well. All right, you need to go back a smidge. You lot need to... Oh, come on, tree. You need to advance over to there. Remember, this is just my first line. I still have my guards. And they are charging me because they feel that's the only way they can actually win. Okay, give me a second... Right, get back in there. I don't want to lose my skirmishers. Thank you very much. Alright then, skirmishers are now saved, so get them in there. What am I going to do with the cavalry, though? And artillery, you are as absurd as ever. Okay, what? Okay, cavalry has completely defeated that unit. You lot get back in there. Ooh! Hello there! Regiment of Horse, don't mind if I do. Come on, charge at the. Oh, it's gonna be a two against one. Come on, charge them! We may have the advantage, but still two against one. So I don't know, anything can happen, I guess. Okay, at least the artillery now is doing some good damage, I guess. Right, don't need you in skirmish mode anymore. Okay, 22, we have 33, and they charged us again, but it wasn't a good charge. Okay, that one is retreating, good. Alright then, so let me send my groups of infantry over to attack the, the armed citizenry, I guess. And my skirmishers, my absolutely lovely, lovely Jaegers. They can go in and attack that unit. Well, we actually lost quite a lot of cavalry. All right, retreat. Retreat, guys. It's not worth it. And that unit over in there. Okay, perfect. It, those are pikemen. Guys are shooting, right? All 
Right, get back in there and have the line infantry actually do a proper volley. Okay, and that one you can charge against them, I guess. And you lot can charge against them. It might be a bit suicidal. That is what... That's the type of commander I am, I get. Really, you miss about 90% of the shots, but... I didn't do any damage, though. Okay, how... How are they not all dead as of yet? Alright, artillery, stop shooting right now. You are absolutely unnecessary for the continuation of this battle. Other than... Look at that lovely regiment of horse. Shoot it! Did they do a single volley? They did, but they shot over us. Okay. Right, and that unit is gone, and that unit is gone, and the battle has been won. The first battle of the war, and Silesia is now ours. So, that has been perfect. Heroic victory nonetheless. My god, incredible.